Alrighty, bud. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, show you how to do a full factory data reset. How to take a Asus Transformer TF400. Actually, this is the TF300 model. Um, but pretty much the same for any of the, and, uh, trans the Transformer devices and just about any other tablet or smartphone running Google. Um, the Android operating system made by Google. Um, there are some slight variations from product to product and actually version to version. Generally speaking, it's almost always the same. And on uh, nearly every device, man, it's going to be in the same way, then same place, same type of uh, reset. Every single one of the versions of Android on any device with any product whatsoever, there is going to be a option or a way to do a factory data reset and to restore it back to, to the stock default or like a fresh brand new out of the box look and feel. Um, so first things first with our interface here, whenever you click in this general area here, um, that's going to bring up uh, the little sub menu. From there, you can select the you can select the gear. It looks like a little gear, which is going to be your settings menu, the full menu. So as we can see here, once we click there in that little corner, there's your sub menu. We've now hit the gear. Huh? We hit the gear, and um, it's going to bring us to the menu. From there, you see that's the one we're going to want to do. The backup and reset, or backup and restore, whatever the hell it's going to be. Kind of hard to read right here, dude. Um, it's going to be just past the security one. You'll see. You'll see it. It's right there. When you click that one, you'll see we're going to get this option. There's our factory data reset. We select factory data reset. From there, it's going to let us know that it's going to destroy all the data and unlink these accounts. And we're going to tell it, go ahead, reset the phone, reset the settings. The next thing it's going to ask us is if we want to truly erase everything. We tell it to erase everything. The phone's going to reboot. Um, we're going to go ahead and let it reboot now and kind of wait for that for a moment. Um, while we're doing that, we can go ahead and uh, watch it do the uh, reset. That's all there is to it, bro. Mind you, I'm going to go ahead and let it play through here. Um, that's your little Android logo made by the Google Android system. This is going to be the logo for the programming, factory programming, restore, reset, any of this, these uh, diagnostic debugging or recovery and repair uh, modes that, that you can get into. This is going to be the factory data reset mode. And um, this is what it's going to look like when you're performing. Now keep in mind, heavy. your first re uh, your first reboot, the first time it turns on, when doing one of these factory resets, is always going to be the slowest one. <laughs> it's going to take a long time, dude. It's always going to take a long one to restore it. Um, the more files that are on the device, the more pictures, music, movies, videos, data, and whatever the fuck it's got on there. The more shit that's in there, the longer this is going to take because it obviously it's going to go through and erase everything. After it gets done erasing everything, it's then going to go and format all of the storage space, which on top of erasing it, it's going to then wipe it completely and prepare it for new fresh data to be stored. Um, it's going to take all the settings and restore them back to the default original setup. All link, all accounts are going to be unlinked. All changes and everything that's been done on it will be will be wiped and flashed fresh. For all practical purposes, you are going to have a brand new transformer in your hands. Um, 
like I said, though, this first boot up, dude, does take a little while. The more data, the longer. Even if there's barely anything on it, even if you do two in a row, the first restart is always the long one because it's going to, after getting rid of everything, it's going to go ahead and, get rid and try and learn all the new storage space and everything. Once you finish it, you're going to be brought to this screen, dude. This is the welcome screen, the start screen. You've done it.